Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to do something just a little bit different. And so I'm really excited to do this video. Um, I have been a long time allergy sufferer. <laughs> All through my life, I have to had to deal with seasonal allergies, indoor, outdoor. And if you watched my last video, the get ready with me simple cat eye look, I think, um, I was so stuffed up. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't, ugh, I was tired. I was uncomfortable. My, um, nasal passages were completely blocked up and I mean like irritated, swollen, and, and now I feel great. And so I was thinking, why not make a video on how I combated, um, my allergies and nasal problems um, into a video that could help somebody else who may be suffering as well. The second reason why I wanted to do this video was because I know a lot of people have a prom or graduation or maybe a reunion or a wedding or just maybe in an event coming up or also that the fact that it's spring and you know it will be summer soon and we like to be outside and, you know, be in the nice weather and do things outside. And there's nothing worse than having to be stuck inside dealing with feeling awful when, you know, we want to be outside and enjoying ourselves. So that's the main reasons why I wanted to do this video. Just to kind of, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand with being um, feeling good and feeling beautiful on, you know, an event or your, you know, whatever it may be in a couple months. And I have some tips that I would really like to, you know, share with you guys and it might help you too and might help you feel better. And, you know, whether you have something going on or not, I just think um, that they really, really work and they really helped me. First thing is um, what causes our noses to get swollen? Well. The membranes lining our nasal passages get really swollen because of an allergen or a cold and they begin to produce excess mucus trying to flush that, you know, allergen out. And they also become inflamed, you know, sore and swollen. So the first thing that I recommend is drinking lots of water. Um, keeping hydrated, I think, is the number one thing. Not only that it's good for your body, it helps thin out the mucus in your nose. And so it helps out your mucus and just I think it makes you feel better. Second thing that I do is a nutty pot. A sinus spray, a sinus, you know, a saline rinse, I guess you could call it. This is what they look like. And you could get this at Walgreens. Walmart, probably Target, and it's pretty simple. This one, um, you could use up to every two hours, and you just buy the saline packets. It's natural and safe for children, adults, including pregnant and nursing mothers, and um, people taking, you know, any kind of medication. It's just basically a salt, you know, saline rinse. Um, it helps allergies, sinus infections, uh, nasal congestion, post-nasal drip, rhinitis, and just help relieving the uncomfortable feeling of sinus and nasal conditions to promote better breathing. And this has really worked. I did this... The main thing with this is to be consistent. Uh, don't just try it once, didn't work, move on. Once, a couple days later, try it again, a couple days later. This is something that um, over the weekend I did maybe three times a day. And then when Monday hit, I continued doing it morning and night. And even though I'm breathing and feeling tons better, I'm still doing this because I just want to continue the flow and the um, just rinsing out all that gunk that's been in there. And it also helps your uh, nasal passages from drying out. And that's what a lot of people misconstrue is that 
you have so much mucus, your nose is running, running, it needs to be dried out. No, that will only irritate and inflame them worse. That's why the water is good. This is good. It helps um, keep it from drying out, which was only going to cause an opposite effect. One precaution with this is use distilled water, um, you know, just purified water. Do not use tap water. You don't want to get the bacteria up in your nose and it cause an infection. Basically, you just kind of stick it up your nose, tilt your head, and then it will go up into your cavity and just kind of drip out the other side. The third thing that I have for you is local honey. Local honey is the best because, you know, if you like honey in your tea and your toast, whatever, it's best to get the local because it's going to help your body build up an immune to um, the local pollen around you, the local flowers, the local trees. This is going to help, you know. If you get a honey from the store that's from like five states away, that's not going to help you at all. So local honey is the best. You can find it. Find it at a farmer's market, um, you know, probably a health food store like um, that's local to you, and I love this stuff. I love using the honey with this tea that I got at uh, Mama Jean's, which is just a local health store, and it's Sleepy Time Sinus Soother, and I love putting um, my honey in it. But it's basically for, it has an uplifting methanol aroma and promotes respiratory comfort. I believe it also has chamomile in it to help you kind of relax, uh, lemongrass, and tilla flowers. Fourth is getting a humidifier. I have one that I keep by my bed and it's pretty portable. So um, over the weekend I actually brought it downstairs with me. I kind of brought it everywhere I went <laughs> and so um I really enjoyed it it really helps up you know once again keeping the um nasal passage moist and it just the steam really helps and then I've been putting this medicated steam liquid um vapors in it and this is just it kind of smells like Vicks and it just kind of gives that nice smell um, up in the steam that really helps calm the nose down. So this was always a help in the humidifier. You could probably get them for maybe around 20 30 bucks. You know, you don't have to get a huge fancy one. Just one that you can lay next to your bed and just have the steam kind of hit up and come up and hit you in the face. And it really does help. Those are my tips for helping you combat allergies or seasonal allergies, whatever you may have, a cold. Um, this, you know, stuff also helps for sinus or cold problems as well. And if you're just feeling horrible and you have something big coming up in the next month or so, definitely start doing this. Uh, like I said, consistency, you won't see results overnight or even in a couple of days maybe. But if you're consistent with it, you will start to feel better. And this is just kind of... A different video that I wanted to share with you guys so hopefully you enjoyed it and I will be talking to you very soon.